Hi. Now what I've got here is a short summary exercise as a follow-up to my previous tutorial. And what I would suggest you do is just have a go at them, pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solutions with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So what I'll do is we'll just give you the answers only because these are so short you shouldn't really need to fully expand them. So for number one, what we've got here then is 5 squared multiplied by 5 cubed or 5 to the power 3. So for something like that, what you should find that you get is that this equals 5 to the power 5. Now at the end of the video, I'll explain again why we get all of these results. But uh, for now, as I say, you should be able to do them straight off. a cubed times a to the power 5, well that's a to the power 8. For number 3, where we've got 2x squared multiplied by 5x to the power 4, well that answer is 10x to the power 6. For number 4, we've got 3xy cubed multiplied by x to the power 4y. And the answer to that is going to be 3x to the power 5y to the power 4. And lastly, in question 5, 7a squared bc cubed multiplied by 4ab cubed c to the power 5. Well, that's going to be 28a cubed or a to the power 3, b to the power 4, and c to the power 8. Now I did say I'd show you how I got these results, okay? So what I'll do is I'll show you the working, or you can just check out the ideas in my previous tutorial. Okay, so uh, for this one here, 5 squared multiplied by 5 cubed, well, that is essentially 5 squared, which remember is short for 5 multiplied by 5. And then we're multiplying this by 5 cubed. 5 to the power 3 is 5 times 5 times 5. So you can see that I've repeatedly multiplied the 5 by itself 5 times over. Okay, so let's have a look at number 2 now a cubed times a to the power 5. Well, remember this was essentially a cubed, which is a multiplied by a multiplied by a. So a repeatedly multiplied by itself three times over. And then we multiply this by a to the power 5, which is a repeatedly multiplied by itself five times over. So what we have then is essentially here a repeatedly multiplied by itself, 8 times over, a to the power 8 then. Now for number 3, 2x squared times 5x to the power 4, well, we got 10x to the power 6. That's because 2x squared is short for 2 multiplied by x multiplied by x. And then we've got to multiply this by 5x to the power 4, which is short for 5 multiply by x by x by x by x again. x repeatedly multiplied by itself four times over. So you can see, I hope, that 2 times 5 gives the 10. And then we had x to the power 6 because we've got x repeatedly multiplied by itself six times over. Okay, next up for number 4, 3xy cubed multiplied by x to the power 4 times y. We got 3x to the power 5, y to the power 4. And that's because 3xy cubed is short for 3 multiplied by x multiplied by y cubed. So that's y times y times y again. Okay? And then we multiplied this with x to the power 4y. x to the power 4 is x repeatedly multiplied by itself four times over, and then we're multiplying this by just y. And if you check this one out, you'll see we've just got the three. Then we've got x repeatedly multiplied by itself five times over, and then we've got y 
repeatedly multiplied by itself four times over. There's three there and the one there. Okay, so lastly, number five, seven a squared b c cubed multiplied by four a b cubed c to the power of five. Well, I got this answer here, and I got that answer now because seven a squared b c cubed is short for seven multiplied by a squared, so that's a times a, multiplied by just a b, and then multiplied by c cubed, so that's c times c times c. And then I multiplied this by 4ab cubed c to the 5. So that's short for 4 multiplied by a, multiplied by b cubed, so that's times b times b times b. And then we've got multiplied by c to the power 5, so we've got to repeat that multiplication for c 5 times over. So there we have it, okay. And when simplified, we've got 7 times the 4, which is the 28. We got a cubed because we repeated the a there two times and one more time there, so that's a cubed. And we have b to the power 4 because that's b times b times b times b. And finally, c to the power 8 because we had the three c's repeatedly multiplied there and the five c's repeatedly multiplied there. So c to the power 8. So I hope you got them right, okay, in the first place. But uh, if not, you've been able to see how we get to these particular results. All right.